Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Alyssa Perlman, and I serve as the choral director here at Laurel Park Middle School. We're very excited to welcome you to tonight's presentation in honor of Black History Month. We're going to start our evening with a piece called See a Humba you might remember from our winter concert. Please remember to make sure your cell phones are silenced at this time and get ready for an amazing night of music. Thank you so much for being here.
There is a power in each of us, a power to love, the power to overcome, and the power to lift towards the stars, and the power to lift every voice around us. We are thrilled to welcome you to the Power of Me, a time for us to reflect, learn, and celebrate in honor of Black History Month in the best way we know how, through our music. A Song of Hope, Lift Every Voice and Sing, was originally composed by brothers James Weldon Johnson and John Roseman Johnson. NAACP, the National Association for the Advancements of Colored People, used this song as a rallying cry in the, during the Civil Rights Movement in the 1950s and 60s. Today is known as the Black National Anthem as we sing in memory, celebration, and in unison. We use this as a reminder to keep moving forward in love and life. Please stand with us as we perform Lift Every Voice and Sing. Um, we will sing it once, and then the second time, we invite you all to sing it with us. There's music printed in your program.
eighth grade choir will now share one of our favorite pieces to sing, Jordan's Angels. It tells a story of freedom, safety, and peace. What worthy goals for all of humanity. to dream big or to simply dream it all can be scary. Poets like Langston Hughes of the Holland Renaissance remind us to protect our dreams. His famous poem, Dream Keeper, reads, Bring me all of your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world. Ignite, our seventh grade car will share the musical setting of Dreamkeeper, along with another traditional spiritual, Can I Ride, both of which we performed this past weekend at our all area choir.
starts with me. And us! We all have the power to make the world a better place. One smile, one conversation, one choice, one song at a time. For this next portion, we're going to share a few, uh, a few band tunes with you. So we're going to bring out some amazing instrumentalists here for this next section. And you're really in for a treat, because if you didn't think these singers and dancers were enough, now you're really in for a treat when we add all of the, the full, full band, full sound. Um, so we're going to go on with a couple pieces, some of our favorite pieces to sing. Man in the Mirror, I Really Love You, an old standard gospel tune, and then we'll finish with... Well, I'll just let you wait and see what we're going to finish with. <laughs> Thank you for letting us share our love and light with you tonight.
thank yous to do really quick. Number one is for Sonny Williams. He ran our sound and lights tonight. Let's give him a big round of applause. Another is for all of our collaborative musicians on the stage today. If you're not familiar with that term, that means musicians that are up here with us, that are professionals in their craft, that spent time out of their evening, out of their busy lives, uh, full grown adults that chose to be here to make music with these wonderful young people. Let's give them a round of applause. Our backstage crew tonight helped majorly in making tonight go smoothly, and that was Miss Sydney Martin, Miss Tiffany Hairston, Miss Brooke Cundiff, Miss Tracy Perlman, Miss Lindsay Coleman, and Miss Maddie Brown. You see some lovely decor up around. That was created by Miss Alderman's art students, some this year and last year. So thank you to Miss Alderman and all her wonderful art students. One more special thank you, and that goes to Mr. Luis Romero of BTW21, who made the time to be here tonight to record our production. Thank you for that. And of course, our general support from our faculty and staff here at Laurel Park, including, uh, but not limited to, um, let's see, our front office and counseling staff, our faculty and staff, our custodial staff, um, as well as all of our school board members, as well as our superintendent. Uh, and thank you so much to our school board, to all of our central office, and of course to our administrators right here at Laurel Park, Ms. Amy Hairston, Dr. Luke Boone, and uh, Mr. Bobby Dalton. Thank you to them for everything they do. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, thank you so much to all of our choir families in the audience tonight as well as uh, my personal family and friends that are here tonight in support. Um, love you all, thank you. This couldn't be possible without all of you guys. Thank you for being here. <laughs> We're gonna end with a poem uh, by the youngest inaugural poet in US history, Amanda Gorman. And you might have remembered her from the presidential inauguration not too long ago. And with the students and I talked about what does, what is an inauguration, right? A bringing in of something new, something bright, a change, right? And so we're gonna talk about, well, some light and some, some brightness here in our next piece. Let's give it to my When we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid, the new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we are brave enough to see it. If only we were brave enough to be it. I'm taking it out there. 